Hey, what's up, guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So, today we are creating a save the date design in Adobe Photoshop. So, let's just get started. Welcome to Final Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up our application. And once we have this, I'm just going ahead to import my image in here. Quick note, in this tutorial, I'm not really going to be talking about how to edit your images. If you're already here, I presume that you already know how to do that. So this is the image I'm going to be using and it is quite huge. So to prevent my computer from shutting down, please allow me to reduce the size. The short key I use is Control, Alt and I to reduce the image size. So um, pixel wise, I'll make the height about um, 1500 and the width will be 1000 and i'll just click on ok so you can see this is much smaller like i've already stated i don't want my computer to struggle while screen recording and editing high quality images now this is an image i took by myself of a couple i shot some time back so i feel a bit comfortable using their image i don't think they are going to be complaining <laughs> anyway so what i'll do is um, instead of having the information on the right hand side or the left hand side like mostly i do i'm having the information at, at the bottom so what i can do is i can go into the shapes option and select a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle about this big this is where all the information is going to be so the time the location the date and all of that is going to be in this rectangle i have at the bottom here now because that is going to be so then the image should push up a little bit so what i'm going to do is the image is the background right now so i click on this lock icon right here if you are using an older version of photoshop you have to double click but newer versions you just single click and it is going to unlock for you so i'll place this somewhere at the top like so and the save the date is going to be on top of their head right around here so for that i'll just be using the type 2 and i'll type in something like save now i should probably change the color to um i don't know let's let's try the to sample from here all right now the reason for this is i'm not um so sure which font i'll be using i've used a couple of them and i feel comfortable with almost all of them there's bunch blossom which looks nice if I should add um, the date now you can see this is looking quite neat so you know what let's place it here for a second until I figure out which fonts to use apart from this there's also tomato which um, there's also Gathway actually there's also October Twilight which I use for their actual program so this is what I'm going to be using but I will quickly want to point out the tomato I was talking about initially Oh, tomato <laughs> so if you look at that you can see how that also looks like but I'll just go back to um, my October Twilight I feel comfortable using this one so what I'll do is I'll just cut this out I'm interested in the save much more than the rest so let's work with the save first so I'll place this somewhere over here at the top like so now don't mind the image being and i think i can now change the color to whichever color i initially wanted to use i want to use the color from the background which is also here so that it can much better compensate for all these weird things i have in here i'm not going to use the exact black i'll probably go with a, a gray color that's 20 20 20. wow that was actually what i was going for i'm surprised it picked it up on the first try so i'll just type it in here this is the color i use for my logo so i feel okay using that and if the save should come here then the date should be much bigger also about the same size which is also going to be here then i'll have the the much smaller so i'll make it about 18 points looks fine and i'll place that over here now this is almost hard to see because the font color doesn't really work out well with this so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to add in a stroke to whatever text i have in here so i'll go to i'll select one i'll go to fx click on stroke 
then I'll go ahead and select the outside version so position is going to be outside and I'll make it about four or five and change the color to white I feel that white is going to make it pop a little bit more now once I have this I'm also going to create a drop shadow so that it becomes much darker and the text is going to be a little bit more visible you can see that from here if I play with the slider I think about 70 should be fine so that's what I'm going to be using and the distance I think somewhere around here looks okay so I'll click on okay now what I'm going to do is place the exact same layer style on these two so right click on the save with the FX here the effect right click go to copy layer style select these two whilst holding down the control key click on both of them right click and go to paste layer style so it's going to add in the same thing and I think I should bring this I should bring this somewhere here all right now let's fit this to screen and see what we have this is looking cool let's go ahead and save this as on title 3 all right so I'll go ahead and I should have in case you don't have this called rulers hold on the control key and press out is going to show and I'll just click and drag to the center like this so it snaps in like so now I can add in the information so first of all we need their name which is very important and uh, for that I'll just be using the polygon tool so click on that and I'll make it a size of 6 I feel 6 is okay so we can work with that so I'll just click and drag whilst holding down the shift key at one particular angle so I have something like this and leave or release it now once I have this you know what let me put that on top once I have this I'll make sure that the fill is set to 0% so it basically just vanishes which is okay and I'll go into FX and click on stroke now I only want the outlines so that is why I do it this way and I want the position to be inside I'll explain to you why in a minute so look at what I have here and notice if I go back to the stroke and change the position to outside it creates some form of um, curve over here if you can see once I start increasing the size you notice that that is this is what we get but if the position is set to inside I hardly see that there's no curve over at the edges whatsoever so this is what I want that is why I set it to inside now once I have that I'll reduce the size to something something like this making sure it fits this small space I have in here like so and I'll click on ok now I'll create a duplicate control J and I'll rotate the second one about 45 degrees or 30 I'm thinking 90 degrees should be fine and see this is what we have now I feel that the stroke is a little bit too much so I'll go back to any one of them and make it much smaller so about two should be okay and I'll copy the same thing paste it on the old one and we should have the same effect so now I can add in their name so we have Tony which I'll be using the Gotham now and I'll change the color to white so that I can see what I'm doing and this is too small sorry too big I should probably change it to the bold version and use their fonts size of about 14 and I place it here so Tony and this this is also going to be here then I'll add in the I've forgotten what this is called upper sign sign or I'm not so sure but the and sign so something like this should look just fine then I'll add in the rest of the information like Saturday 21st November 2020 so I'll place that somewhere around here now this is too huge or probably too long so I'll make it 21 um, 11 2020 instead this is much shorter then I'll create a duplicate so Control J and I'll place the second one on the right hand side I should probably change this because I'll not be using the bold version here so let me just change it before I create a duplicate so that I wouldn't have to change it over and over again. So once I have this, I'll create a duplicate and I'll place it here. This time around is going to be um, venue. So venue is going to be um, Methodist Church. 
that is Gethsemane Methodist Church Taka and also probably use the 12 point and have this somewhere around here so let's go back and change this to 12 points as well but i believe the date is quite important so i'll just leave it as that the last thing is going to be the time which i should find a place for it any moment from now so i'll have the let's copy this Control c i have the time somewhere here so t-i-m-e let's bring this up so that i can see what i'm typing so that's going to be nine o'clock a.m now once i have this i can go ahead and paste it wherever i want so something like this should look okay now you notice that i'm having a little bit of trouble with the placement all i can just do is stretch this out and make the work much simpler for me so i can just use the crop tool um go to w h resolution I think that stands for width and height then stretch it out if i want it like that but i think this is looking okay if this is your work you definitely have to do it like i just showed you so basically this is it this is what i am going with so thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of my videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is Theo from Final concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one